All right, how's everyone doing? This is a quick overview of either a 2008 or 2009, I forget what it is, Saab 97X Aero. And this side's destroyed because the wife uh, slammed it into a guardrail. But it comes with 20 inch rims, uh, the whole shebang. It's, uh, it's basically just a Chevy Trailblazer, but it's got the LS2 6 liter in it uh, with a 4L70E transmission not a 4L60 and the difference between the Trailblazer SS and this is that this has automatic all-wheel drive you can't select it it's automatic and it has HIDs regular fog lights etc etc it does now this is dirty as well uh, it does have Auto level suspension, which should happen. I don't know if it's uh, level or not right now, but we'll see. It must be pumped up enough. Anyway, so one of the fallbacks of this is it has airbags in here. Don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, so the airbags, obviously GM doesn't know what they're doing, the Cadillac dealer, because this one was sitting almost three inches off camber, well, not really camber, but off side to side, Le the driver's side was sitting down like a fat bastard was sitting in it, and uh, take it to the dealer and they say, oh, well, it needs a new airbag, whatever, replace it under warranty. Even though I told them they should just adjust the potentiometers, which are right here. These little, the arm with the blue thing on it, you can adjust that. That'll adjust it side to side. You want about 33 inches from fender to ground. All right, so the rest of this truck, uh, it's got this ghetto little nav screen uh, it's got auto climate control we'll start her up here it's got the sob thing in the middle yeah I feel like an aircraft whatever not really this is a uh, sob standard here don't put a can in here unless you're holding everything or it'll break <laughs> So this one has, oh, I don't know, oh, 66,000 miles on it. It's got the tire pressures that you can actually cycle through. That's rather nice. Oil life meter, and it's at 45% right now. And the last time the oil has changed, if you look at my inspection stickers, it's been a year. So, uh, it'll be about a year and a half, but the wife only drives this maybe 7,000 miles a year. And I have not reset this since I bought it. Fuel used, 1,824 gallons. And uh, we bought this at around 31,000 miles. 13.3 average and that hasn't been reset for probably 10,000 miles. It really does about 15 on the freeway as long as you're under 70, uh, but over that it's between 12 and 13. Uh, you know, standard garbage here. I mean, it's, it's actually dark. I don't know how well you can see that with the GoPro, but uh, it's 
cold and snowing out here and I'm sure the snow is covering the the uh, light sensor so this is at nighttime mode it does have automatic dual climate control so I mean it's a Chevy standard hold this get it back to normal um and by the way this is destroyed there's like milk all over it from the friggin kids the wife's got some stripper sauce in there she's not a stripper but smells like it it's delicious uh, so you got plenty of room for two kids no third seat option I mean it's a trailblazer it's a trailblazer with a big ass motor is all it is which we'll go see now uh, I mean on the side it's got the standard Chevy deal you know you got a couple memories you got heated back vice heated uh, seat bottom which is nice different you never see that anywhere else but uh, Saab Chevy Cadillac So this is the GM Performance, I don't know what, it's an LS2 uh, with the truck heads on it. <clears throat> so it's right under 400 horsepower, but it's got 410 to 400 and something foot-pounds of torque. Uh, been very reliable. Uh, I tow a big ass camper with it, uh, I don't know if you can see that. So we tow a 26 foot camper with this, which is hard to find an SUV that your wife can drive to work every day, yet uh, you can still go and tow your toys with it. So that's why we went this way, uh, and it works well. Uh, this one I did, see my little ghetto rig here, I did put a, uh, I totally forget the name of it, but whatever, it's the best thing going. Uh, tranny cooler in it. Not GM. Uh, other things I've done to it, of course, since we tow, we have the Prodigy 2 um, brake controller in it. And also, if anyone wants to know, we have the AeroForce digital uh, gauge in here. And this gauge, you can read all the, I don't know if it's 232 or 429 data bus, whatever OBD2 is, but you can read all the data off it. So it's really great for reading your trans temp on anything after, I think, 98, you can do that. thought about doing some exhaust to it but uh, I mean it sounds pretty wicked for a, for a wife's car just at idle it does have a big fat muffler it keeps it quiet when it's when it's really raging got some garbage in here to go to goodwill but it's got a normal trunk little access panel it does come with a tonneau cover that goes in here and that just got basically tossed in the back of the garage when we got it it's got these this is just white trash really um, so you can close this and open this which is good for access then the arrow version does come with the white tail lights kind of like rice burner style but all in all, it's a it's been a great truck. And it's just it's really a friggin' sports car. <laughs> Trails trailblazer. It's it's out of control. The wife shouldn't really be driving it. But it's all good. If you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email. N-W-R-I-G-H-T at ptd.net.